uh, my metro line that I take to get to school every day, line 12, um, is the, the um, last eight, I think maybe, stops um, uh, are going to be closed for a few days in um, the upcoming weekend because they're doing, um, like, it says, like, travaux de modernisation, which I'm guessing means they're just redoing certain styling things within the metro station. If it was something with the tracks, they'd probably have to close the whole line or something like that. But so anyway, um, it's just for a weekend, so it's not going to affect me getting to school, but there's no other metro line close to me, really, that I can get to. Um, to take instead into the rest of the city, so, and that's also the weekend my parents are coming, so I'm going to have to change my routine as well for that weekend. And um, they say, like, they have, you know, please use other metro lines or there will be a shuttle bus ready for you, so that's nice that they have that. I haven't decided what I'm going to do that. I could take that, but, so anyway, I decided to do um, this little reflection task, um, and decided to do it as a video uh, because we're supposed to do like interactive media sort of things and put it on my channel because I thought it would be interesting for you guys. So um, start off here. This I found online. This is a map of my metro line and sort of how it goes through the city. Um, I know it's sort of hard to visualize but then we have this which is the map of the entire metro system throughout Paris and down here where it says like Maui DC you can't really see it because I have to switch to macro mode that is where my lines start. So like there, there, and then you sort of follow, I know there's multiple green ones, try to follow it through. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see down at the bottom, there's not a lot that connects to it. There's only, like at Port de Versailles, there is a tramway, which is that orange line, but that goes across the city. So you'd have to change to another metro line that intersects it and then go up. So you'd have to make multiple transfers because of the shutdown. Um, and then Pasteur is, um, I think, six stops up on the line, and that's the first one that transfers to another metro. That transfers to that other green one, which also sort of goes in a circle around the city. Um, so if you wanted to get into the center of the city, you're going to have to make multiple um, transfers because of this change. So basically how it works is this is the front or the back, depending on what direction it goes. There are seats here, but they're fold-down seats, so I didn't include them in the diagram. Those are the, the balanced or standing poles or whatever you want to call them. Those are the doors, so the poles are always right by the doors. Um, doors only open on one side to get on and off. These are the hard plastic seats. People sit in the middle there. There's more folding seats on this side of each one. Um, so there are four doors, um, four rows, rows of doors, and three things of seats. And so um, that's your average metro car, if I did this correctly. So I did these diagrams. For each one of these stops, I'm going to go all the way down to the, to the south end, which I haven't done before. So um, <laughs> this should be interesting for me. And I'm going to try and write down everybody who gets on at each stop. And... Hopefully nobody's going to think I'm weird or think I'm doing some sort of terrorist conspiracy work or anything, but we'll see how it goes, and when I have time, I'll look at the results and check back in and film that, too. All right, so I don't exactly know how well that went. Um, the problem with the metro is that the stops are really close together because it was built in 1900, and there wasn't really a need for transportation more than every few blocks at that point. So, um, in order to, you know, I'm sitting there furiously scribbling every single person I can see on the train. The other problem is the trains are so big, and people get on, they stand right in front of you. So a lot of times you're like, oh, you can't see around them. I would have had a better view if I'd stood up, but then, of course, I'd have nothing to lean on when I was writing. And I also wouldn't, I didn't have time, like, in the actual experiment, you know, to go around and ask people why they're taking the metro. And, you know, besides the fact I can't speak French that well, and... People in Paris, you know, in the States, people smile at each other when they pass each other and, you know, on the street, that kind of thing, even if they're strangers. Sometimes they'll answer questions if you, you're curious, you know, whatever, if you ask politely. Paris, no. People like their privacy. People don't smile on the streets, you know. So if I came up to people on the metro, they'd probably get very cold and annoyed about it. So I didn't do that. So I probably should have just stuck to 
listing who is in half of a metro car instead of the whole one, but I did my best. So we're going to look at the findings and sort of see what I have here. So this is from the most, uh, the southmost stop, as I wrote there. Um, the reason I have a few more <laughs> uh, characters in this train is because it, it stops for a few minutes um, at the first stop. It doesn't go right away. It lets people kind of wander on. So, yeah, it, it it gets less full than this. So, <laughs> no, just look forward to that. The main mistake I did was that I was stupid, and because I did it for memory, I forgot the Metro has two poles, actually, for balance like that. Not one in the center, but whatever. It's not really that big of a deal. So, yeah, my descriptions weren't, unfor were unfortunately not that detailed. I couldn't really see exactly what shoes people were wearing, that kind of thing. So, just have two women, man sitting, old man sitting, woman and daughter, a uh, darker skin color. I didn't know if that we were supposed to do, like, demographics, like, that kind of thing for this. So, I tried, you know, I, I don't know really um, what that says about anything. Um, I did note that a lot, the, the majority of the people on this line were white, but that's not exactly common in Paris. It really depends on what line you're taking, what neighborhood you're going to, and as, as you get, um, you know, out towards the suburbs, the, you get you, you get to see less white people and more people of color, so, you know, the classic city, you know, demographics, I think, apply in Paris usually. There's more Middle Eastern people in Paris, but that's because France has the highest um, Middle Eastern immigrant minority of all the European states, so I wasn't sure what they were, so I just put darker skin color. Uh, two young girls sitting, and then they moved over here. Slightly younger woman and old woman. <laughs> um, I think those were, they were all a family because they were talking the whole time. Uh, two young, no, I did them already. Uh, lady reading Anu, which is a Metro free magazine um, they have in Paris. Uh, guy texting leather jacket, man without, without, why did I write that? <laughs> uh, oh, man who, man who got on at last second, can't read my own handwriting, I was scribbling so fast, and me, I sat it there, because I was hoping to be able to see the whole car, but it didn't work out so well, so we have that stop, and there was definitely not enough time, I figured pretty soon, to write down everybody on the train at each stop, so I didn't scribble the same people unless they got off. So I have women from last stop got off, so you have to kind of imagine everybody from the last one still in here. I know it's kind of hard, sorry. Uh, younger woman reading, old woman got up, I, the old lady from before. Uh, the old man from before moved to this door, man with a bowl haircut got on, guy texting is now Queen? Check. No. What did I write? <laughs> Chewing something. Oh, okay. Man next to me is wearing a suit. Everyone else casual wear. And me. All right. So that was at the second southmost stop. We have Port de Versailles. All right. So over here, some girls back here can't really see them. Uh, I just wrote this. Most people are reading or sitting quietly, you know, because in the original thing she wrote listening to MP3 players, etc. There wasn't a lot of that going on. Um, old woman and guy got off from the last stop. Uh, man rushed on at last second, standing, and then he migrated as the train went on. Woman on iPhone, big black lady and son, they got on. They were on for the whole thing, I'm pretty sure, well, as far as I was on, and me. All right, then we have convention, which is my normal stop to get on and go to school. So, again, I'm going to have to find alternative transportation this weekend. All right, some hipsters get on. That was the easiest way I could describe them uh, quickly. Uh, balding guy. Uh, Brown-haired woman got off. I don't think I wrote her in the last one, but it, like I said, it was really hard to jot down everybody really quickly. Uh, woman in jean jacket hesitates, then gets off. Uh, man next to me fiddling with phone, and me. Not a lot of people got on there, either that or they did, but I didn't have time to sketch them all down. Vaugirard, no one got off. Um, guy got on with a huge backpack. Um, this stop I tried to sketch in all of the people who had been there the whole time because they, no one else had gotten on. I thought I had time to do that, but again, I didn't get to the whole car. So, yeah, that's why all those dots are there. Um, a woman with glasses gets on, comma, stands. 
uh, woman in red co coat blocking my view. That accounts for the rest of these being as bad as they are. All right, volunteer, uh, man in leather standing, gray-haired man, bearded man, another bearded man, <laughs> uh, three punks get on. That was interesting. You don't see a lot of punks in Paris. Right, and then we have Pester, which is the first transfer on the line to an actual other metro line. So, for all those stops at the beginning, um, you have to do bus or tram or walk uh, this weekend because you can't just simply walk to another metro. It's not really close enough. It wouldn't be that practical. Um, woman standing, woman with poofy hair, guy with gray cap, girl with huge headphones, Asian woman texting, punks are now sitting on each other's laps, Texting guy and woman near me get off. Uh, old man also, and I forgot to put me in there. All right, Falgier. Um, no one off or on. This stop is really unpopular. Um, it doesn't get a lot of traffic. The only people I've seen coming on here are bums, so I don't know why they really have this stop. Anyway, uh, black guy with a shaved head. Uh, Hispanic woman. Graying old man inch in, inches closer to door. Um, these are those four people that I talked about at the beginning. I commented they're the only people from the beginning still on. So I guess... Oh, no, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I forgot me again. And Montparnasse Bienvenue is um, the end of the service interruption. The train still runs here, but this is where it's going to stop going south. It won't go to any of those previous stops. And this is transfer of three other lines and also for some major train lines to the rest of France. So that's the first big major junction. But everybody more south than that is a little less lucky. Um, so we have woman with very straight hair eating sandwich. Um, I think it was a guy. Sorry. Um, I wrote, it wasn't actually Christopher Lloyd, but I just wrote that because the guy looked like him and it was shorter to write Christopher Lloyd than old, wrinkled, balding man. Um, I put, this is symbolizing like an exodus because since Montparnasse transfers to so many things, tons of people get off, so I couldn't even count all of them. Uh, girl in a dress, the punks left, um, two nuns got on, and I got off at the next exit, man in trench coat and a bespectacled woman get on. Now, I guess I really shouldn't have put who got on at these stops because they're not going to be affected by this service at all, um, so... When I got off, I tried to sort of map out who had been on there for, like, most of it to try and make the car look a little more full. But again, I really could not see the back of that car at all, so I sort of messed that one up. But I wrote generally people sitting and reading. We have the standing old man. There's his migration and where he got off, Port de Versailles. Um, ditto with that lady. The guy with the gray cap. A man with bull haircut got on at Quarantine Celton and probably off at Montparnasse. I lost track of him. Girl with big headphones uh, went from Pasteur to Montparnasse. You see, I corrected the polls this time. Anyway, um, I, uh, let's see, bearded old man, uh, bearded man, men, and older man, uh, the family, on until Montparnasse. They were all talking. Asian woman on iPhone came on at Pasteur. Don't know when she got off because I left before that. Woman reading Anu. I lost track of her. Uh, texting guy got off at Pasteur. The punks got on at Volontaire and they got off at Montparnasse. Uh, man who got on at last second worked with, looked at phone a few times, wearing a suit, off at Pasteur. Me, no one sat next to me, probably weirded out. <laughs> Um, big black woman and son on at Port de Versailles, off, I don't know, because I got off before them. So I wrote in the generalization, mix of old and young, mostly white, as I talked about before, but that varies by line. Um, yeah, so, uh, just sort of a snapshot, yeah, um, of all the people who are going to have an inconvenient weekend.